you we bless your name this morning god amen thank you so much we may take our seats in the presence of the lord a special greetings once again we want to welcome the church of god this morning in the name of jesus christ hallelujah we want to welcome the elders and deacons in the house of the lord this morning we want to love you and greet you in jesus name hallelujah special greetings to all the pastors that are here this morning also we want to welcome our real both pastors pastor baba and mama manzini they are also in the house this morning jesus name hallelujah we want to greet our pastor pastor k in jesus name glory to jesus welcome amen allow me also to take this opportunity uh, to welcome our speakers of Asia Lavi and praise Mulilo uh, in the house this morning we want to love you and welcome you in Jesus name hallelujah church praise be to God amen uh, we want to send our greetings also to our parents uh, where they are doing the work of God we want to love them and greet them in Jesus name hallelujah hallelujah this morning by the grace of God I'm going to share the message we I know people are shocked but what is happening there's nothing to be shocked of that's the same way when parents are looking at us as youth ministry at some point also they are shocked how are they doing things these boys and girls of today but I want to come and stand and represent the emerging generation this morning to say we also love the God of Ezekiel you might see us this way but deep deep in our hearts we love the God of Ezekiel where is Arnold run so the world that we are growing in now you see you'll be amazed how can they put a director of transport like this <laughs> but deep deep in our hearts we love the god of ezekiel yeah, you can take a seat we are going to take our reading uh, from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 16 probably a part of verse number 17 I came to this church or I can say I was born and raised in this church of Zayoja I have never been to another church we don't even know other churches but I was born and raised in this ministry. And I can tell you to say, this church is a church that can, can change people's lives. Despite the fact that we are moving from generation to generation. What is important is to understand how the God of Ezekiel operates. I always give a testimony to say there's a time that I used to go to church, those who remember those days where we would start our service in the morning and around 1-1 one, one we go for a lunch then we come back again for afternoon session what I would love mostly in those services is in the morning when they are doing praise and worship then in the afternoon when we come back with choruses most of the generation of today they may not know that church but we are saying it's a church that is moving from generation to generation and as it is moving from generation to generation there are also certain things that we the today generation might be coming with not that we are diluting the doctrine 
But it's the way we want to do things in the generation of today. I remember in those days when I became so busy in the things of God. I was a boy who would come to collect instruments. And in those days, when you say to the leaders of those days, we need a new instrument set. As long as the microphone is able to say one, two, one, two, they said they are working. But it's different now from the generation that we are having today. We have got a different view on how we see things. But I want to say to us, even though we are seeing things in a different way, parents understand us. We love the God of Ezekiel. My topic today is the love of the God of Ezekiel. I will not talk much about Jesus because overseer and mama, they are here to do that. But today, this morning, my assignment is to teach and to talk about a good relationship between us and the church of God. Right. I'll read from the Bible, common English Bible. It's a verse that I like so much. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse number 16. The Bible reads, So then from this point, on we won't recognize people by human and standards. Apostle Paul is coming and say, from this day going forward, we have learned not to see people and use a physical eye when you are seeing probably the generation of today. Forever he reigns. And he will continue to reign in our lives. Hallelujah. Apostle Paul went on to say, even though we used to know Christ by human standards, so it's possible that when you are looking at us, you are seeing a generation that does not have God. But I want to remind the church of God today to say, even though we are emerging, and some of us have emerged already, but the one thing that has kept us to be here until today is by understanding how the God of Ezekiel operates. We are the full members of forward in faith ministry, not part time. In those days, I remember one of the pastors who once came to take me from a tavern, the beer hall. Not that I was drinking beer. I used to enjoy to go and play jukebox. I would measure every Sunday because where the jukebox was, it's next to the church. So I would measure that every Sunday I've got something a coin to go and play the jukebox. But soon after playing the jukebox, I'll be back in the house of the Lord. Also doing what other people are doing. But it's because we had the leadership in those days that were so patient with us. That's why we are here today. So as you see us, there are also things that we are saying. These children are doing this nonsense. We call them nonsense, ne? We are saying, allow us and accept us and correct us in a way you want us to do things according to a forward in faith way. Hallelujah. I'm not going to evangelize today. I'll try to, to be like my guys here. The Bible went on to say, though we used to know Christ by human standards, that isn't how we know him now. In these people that are looking at us this morning, we have got future overseers. We have got future bishops. Where's Denzel? I'm sure he's the naughtiest here in this province. Where's Denzel? Run. But even though we might see it in a different way, 
But one thing that I can tell you whenever you want Denzel to do something in the house of the Lord is available. So we are here to grow here. Because we don't know other places where we can go. Our parents have shown us the God of Ezekiel. We will remain not when we are here. But we are saying in our naughtiness, just come and hold and put us in the right place. We are going to behave one day. We shall be a blessing also one day by the grace of God. I'll go to this book. Uh, it's my favorite book. This is the first book that I bought when I started to love the God of Ezekiel. You know when they say buy books, that was my first book to go also to say uh, brothers and sisters, I bought a book. Mutunga mira kanaka neva karorana. People are asking themselves, how can you love the book for couples? This book is talking about leadership in the house of God. This book teaches us to be where we are today is because of forward in faith. Hallelujah. Right. Before we read the book, we will also go to the book of Romans chapter 8 verse number 1. Not Romans. The book of Romans. Chapter 8 verse number 1. The Bible says, So now there isn't any condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. There is no more condemnation for those who belong to Jesus. Even though the outside appearance might not look as if it's fitting well to how we see things in the body of Christ. But here the Bible is saying there's no more condemnation for those who are now in the board of Christ. Our duty as advisors, pastors, elders and deacons, I want to remind you what we used to receive a long time back. Where they used to call us home and put us in order. When they, whenever they see something that is not right. They were not going in the street and saying, the child of Deacon so and so is misbehaving. But they will call us home and make a cup of tea. Of course, there was no milk. With the bread with no butternut. You have tea and you are receiving your correction in the house of a leader. I want to say to us, here are as parents of the church of today. We also love the God of Ezekiel with all our hearts. Hallelujah. Page number 18 of this book. The topic or the title is Kuwazana Kwemuri. I need an interpreter here. Someone to get a mic, maybe you interpret because the book is written in Shona. We don't have the English version so far. Who can interpret? Our generation, we are not good in interpreting. So I hope us, that's why you saw yesterday when Overseer was singing those other songs, Baba. We were shocked to say, these are new songs. Because our songs, us is you reign forever oh my Tigo. And sometimes they'll be looking at us. These kids, what, what are they doing? We will be hearing God moving in our bones when I'm singing those songs. What I'm saying is, understand us. You will know that we also love the God of Ezekiel. Did we get one interpreter? Alright. The book went on to say, it was written by our father. Can I want it, what a church? The microphone is not working. One, two, yes, one, two. 
four, five. Can I want to say she? If you love the church, which is the forward in faith church, you must be taught what is supposed to be done in that church with those that you found already there. I've changed the coin. Eh? Now I'm standing with overseer Mulilo now. I'm now standing with the big people. All the senior elders that are here. The book we say to the emerging generation, since you have loved this church, and now you want to be a member of this church, it's good for you not to have bitterness and the spirit of unforgiveness. It's better to be taught how to do things with the people that you have found already there. I always say, when you are chosen God to be a youth chairman for the province, it was not starting on you. You know, if you would, I know, in this whole world, they've never had the chairman. Chairmen were there. But what you only change now is the chairman who speak like God with accent in the generation of today. I remember those days when I used to go. Me, I became a chairman when I was 17 years. And it was after Easter conference when I was chosen. I, re I received the Christ during Easter conference. And soon after Easter conference, I was chosen to be a youth chairman. I'm talking on Sunday. That's where everything happened. Then I went to attend my first meeting for Greater Harare by then. You know, when they are saying one regional chairmen and the district chairman to come for what you used to call by then, you had to overtake over meeting. It was very unique. We used to go at Wimpy in Harare. And we feel that for sure the God of Ezekiel has found me. Me sitting in Wimpy. Once or probably sometimes after this Easter and another Easter next year. That's why you visit Wimpy for that meeting. Not what we do these days, it's about to say every Sunday, we go to Roko Mamas. But it's because of the generation of today. The book went on to say, I always say, I'll interpret it, it's fine. Okay, in short, the Baba, Baba is saying here, do you know what I'm saying Nishindi Musa zopi inda Cheshi ya musinga hadi Nukuti muchai tambuza Ende iyo isha kutambuza hiyo Interpreter Please can you interpret for the sake of Molly And Shamaine It's off and I'll always say do not attend to a church which you do not like mm -hmm. because it will trouble you. And you also trouble it. <laughs> of the church troubling you, and you also begin to trouble the church. So that's why there's a problem now when they are saying, elders, when they're looking at us from a distance, they're saying, these children. Why they are behaving this way? And you also from this angle, we are saying these elders, they don't understand us. So there's trouble in paradise. But today, by the grace of God, I'll try maybe to teach so that maybe we can meet somewhere. After we meet somewhere, we'll be able to go together as a church in the body of Christ. Forward in faith church is still the same the way it is across the border. As we are here in overseas, but those who are also that other side of overseas, they are also sometimes having a disunderstanding on how things we are doing it in this way. 
Nokuti bucha zogara. Muchinyunyuta chete. This is Baba Good. You will always mama because of how maybe we are doing things and how the church is doing things and you are feeling you are not comfortable. But one thing that I want to say to us this morning, the reason why we are here today is because we love the God of Ezekiel. Help us, servant of the Lord, to understand how best we can be able to understand and move together with this church. Hallelujah. Without bothering each other, without unuta each other, but together we want to move together in the body of Christ. I've got a book that I'm going to read also. It's called Zayoja Forward in Faith. Youth Guide for the Nations. A guide to youth leaders. Of course, I'm talking not only to the leaders. I'm talking also to the people that are here who are aspiring leaders of tomorrow. Page number 33, the last page of this book. One thing that I like with this church, this church is well organized. It might be youth ministry and you feel as if maybe just a small ministry. But there are books written also to guide us so that we can be effective leaders in the year that are coming tomorrow. I wrote here in 2002 that's when I came to Christ. I'm not talking of receiving the Jesus that took me far until today. But receiving, we were receiving every Sunday. <laughs> when this other preacher comes and he teach and teach, you feel, ha, huh? I'm touched today. You go again and put your head. You receive. You move, you move. And another speaker comes. The preacher again is powerful. You receive again. To the extent that if they were given, if they were faithful enough in those days, to give that, it's called what? Decision card. I was supposed to have a pile, a folder of my journey for me to receive Christ. And I was very not. I always say to people, to say, I pray every day that there must not be a transfer from me to another generation. But I'm, I'm seeing the hand of God. I wrote here. Around 2000, around 1998, 1999 and 2000, I was changing schools from one school to another. From this school to this other school. Not because of naughtiness, but because of, of resources, of course. Then it came a time where I became a street kid in the city of Harare. Those who know Harare, we used to have our places where we used to go and enjoy life in those days. There's a place called Fantasland. The one that is there by Eastgate Mall. That was the second one. There's one also that is next to Joiner City. When they were building Joiner City, I was in town. When they were digging the foundation, Baba Go, that excavator came to, I think there was an old building that was there. So I'm sure they sold the building. It had now to establish what you see now today's Joiner City. I stayed in the town or in that CBD for three months, sleeping under the bridge with other fellow brothers in town. You know, there is always your friends whenever you are in a certain environment. But one day something came to my mind to say, why don't you go back home? And I went home. What I wanted that time was love. And there's an elder, elder called Elder Kamsikiri. I don't know how he picked me. And he began now to take me. And he began to nurture me. They did not see 
a Rastafarian, a guy was coming from, from the streets. I'm sure they saw a potential pastor who was going to come from this young boy. But one thing, I don't know how it happened. I've never involved myself into drugs. In my life until today, I've never tasted alcohol. I've never tasted even marijuana. I've never taken that, those things. But I was having my unique, my unique naughtiness that I was having those days. So you might be here today, you're looking at me and say, Pastor, these guys, they don't understand us. I remember at one point when we were saying, another youth was staying inside of the church and said, you guys, you don't understand us. And they know the guys are the elders and deacons. Already there's a problem when you start to say you guys. But we are the generation of today. We address you in the office where you are seated there as guys. But we love the God of Ezekiel. If you see us here speaking in tongues, lifting our hand to the God of Ezekiel, we really meant it. It's coming from the bottom of our hearts. The only difference is in those days when they only show you that for sure there is the touch of God of Ezekiel. You sometimes see them rolling on the floor. Us we may not roll, but we are hearing the God speaking in our lives. We love the God of Ezekiel. Are you there Yaya, today? Am I talking sense today? Good. Page 33. The last page. You need also to get a copy of this book, every brother, every sister. Even an elder, Jacob, you are not an advisor. Get a copy. This book will also help you to understand us better. Let it be known to every leader, stroke every member of Zayoja Forward in Faith, of today. Let's take something here. Dr. Oniso Mazode always like to reference. So this book, they are saying the, the fifth printing was done in 2008. In another copyright, another print was done in 2010. So that means this book came long way ago. But by, the author is saying here, let this be known to every leader of Zayoja Forward in Faith, or every member, or every youth of today. And to those who will come after this generation, even as many God is going to call to come to be in this kingdom or to be a member of this church let it be known I come back to my, to my notes here in this church what we call Masofa conference are there and they will continue to be there even after you all of us we are taken by rapture and my children also will come. They need to read this book. We will not change the pattern of how we do things in Zayoja forward in faith. What can change only is the method to do the sofa. Because in my days, to have a sofa in the restaurant, I could feel that mm -mm, there's no touch of the God of Ezekiel. But because we are moving generation to generation, now we can do myself over Zoom. Because there's a brother who saw a sister here, but because he cannot travel from, from New Zealand to come and say, I'm here for my sofa. We can do that over, but it must, it must be done, my sofa. It's only a method that just change, but we remain in the system. That's why you see now we've got screens. 
When our parents came yesterday, they were in shock. To say, how oh, these children, how are they doing these things? But what we are all to, to say is, we love the God of Ezekiel. The only the way we present our Easter conference in the 2024 is different from those other years. But that's why yet our office yesterday started to ground us again in the doctrine, in the teaching of salvation. Amen. Whew, hallelujah. Baba said here, it must be known that no one must become a leader or a member of this church without you receiving Jesus Christ as your personal savior. So salvation will become the first thing that all of us seated here we must receive for us to be the members of this church. You must be baptized in water, filled in the Holy Spirit. We must hear Tanaka speaking and bubbling in tongues. Of course, what differs now is the way we pronounce our tongues. Jaka Bahaso. The generation of your last time. The one for today. We don't mind about the tone and the rhythms. What we must hear is are they there? These times in you as a member of this church. I'll close this book. So, technology wise, we are moving. But we move with what we were taught so that they can be able to keep us and be in a position where we hand over the same teachings to the next generation. What may differ is how we present, but the message must not change. Because us now, if you want to introduce our speaker, you see today, we are no longer reading the hard copy of a program. We just say, listen, there you hear. But there are some of us who are still here who are saying, no, for it to be powerful, someone must stand and say, in case it's in Araco, in Uganda, they are not there. In Garden Root, they are not there. In Port Elizabeth, they are not there. But what, where you want to go by the end of the day is you want to leave time to overseer, love and praise Mulilo to come and give us the message. Amen. I don't know if I'm, I, I'm I, I, what I'm saying here is making sense, but I believe together we can move together. Right. Go back to 2002. I was chosen to be a youth chairman. And, of course, you know, the systems of the church we knew. But when you are meeting the elders, how do you behave? When you are meeting the pastor, how do you behave? So in terms of systems, there was no problems. But the problem was in salvation. Because over here, when I went to the, what we used to call, this is what we are now calling HD. We used to call it by then international training the leaders send in a kind of. But they used to say no, just to bring even those people that you see they've got potential to be leaders of tomorrow. So it was possible that you go there without even receiving Jesus. And they are saying leaders are gathered here at Amphig. But another leader who is sitting there just a kuna luto. Even in our base we carry even that no file of CDs and DVDs. Because when you are going to every event, you must see show I'm loaded. In your generation today, you don't carry DVDs like what you used to do. We are now holding iPads. Which version is this? This is what you are now also bling and showing off with. By then, you could carry a CD to say, do you know, there's a, I, my first seed that I bought, I remember another time when God blessed me. There's this other song from Maskiri. 
What, what's the name of the song? I think the same album with the song called Wenera, something like that. And wherever I go, even I'm going not to church, if I'm visiting any place, I must have it in my bag. But when you arrive there, they must ask you what do you have. So you must show a CD. But the love of God of Ezekiel was there. I don't know how it happened. Even now until today, I don't understand what actually happened. But what I know, the God of Ezekiel did something. And my life was changed. So during the Easter, I gave my life to Christ. And after Easter conference, we went to that other international youth conference. Then Bishop Kapandura preached the salvation again. People of God, I saw, I saw myself front there. And I was crying. Because when he was teaching salvation, he passed through a certain area that was killing me of masturbation. But I was the youth chairman now. Servant of the Lord, we want to leave time to our chairman. And I could come and lead the church to another level. But their chairman was the master beta. And some of you know that I'm, I'm part of present worship. Me, I can sing. Huh? Of course, I cannot surpass over Samuel, but I can sing. <laughs> and I used to come to the house of the Lord after we are done doing masturbation. And it's from masturbation. You arrive at church. We are now leaving time to the present worship. Brother Blessing, where are you? We are the one who is taking worship song today. And you will come and take the worship song. Jesus, Gana Matwe, Hallelujah. Jesus, Gana Matwe, Hallelujah. And the church will cry. And I know when I go home, you said, Guys, did you see how I messed up the church today? But by then I used to think it's me now. You saw the way I sang today. And by then we're having sisters. I don't know if they are still there today. Who could wait for you at the gate? I'm coming from Goshen. Desert. Pastor Kuda knows. They'll be standing at the gate. Brother blessing today. <laughs> Woo! And you could feel good for sure now so I've delivered. But from there, after a day, we are breaking the systems. If you don't meet the God of this church, it's possible to continue doing and living that kind of life. A life that does not have repentance. And that can give you problems in future as you go. I went on and began now to say, I, want, I need to have a counselor. Which is what some of us here we don't like. Our today's generation now. We are saying you have a counselor. You have someone who knows your life. Who knows what you are going to eat and where you are going to sleep tomorrow. And in the house of the council, don't just appear and disappear. There must be a strong relationship with that counselor. We love the God of Ezekiel. The desire today, people of God, the reason I'm sharing this as a youth pastor, is that we can be able to build a good relationship between the church of yesterday and the church of today. Because it's possible that you might be saying they don't understand us. A team also will come tomorrow who will not understand you. If you fail to understand those ones who are coming who were there yesterday. I remember overseer, I think it was after that big explosion in national sports when we are now coming to our, our provinces. I started to know of us here when I was still a brother. I used to go to minister. You know when I was telling you about going to Mfakos to clean the, the yard for explodes. After cleaning, we could go and do masturbation. That was our lifestyle. And I had a group of team, you know, a few guys. 
We're doing this as a... Yeah, I know. Yeah. I don't know how it was happening, but it was happening. All right. We move on. But we are saying now, it's possible that we can see us that way. And God can change us to be an, on another level of life. And we can receive pure salvation. What is important is to understand the teachings and put them into practice and follow the doctrine. Number what I wrote here. Masofa is not an old thing. I know many of my team here, they are struggling. You want to do it first there. And come to Elder Samuel. When it's done, boss, you must make sure that we are, we are agreeing here. I heard another boy saying, I don't want to be embarrassed you know, when I go there. So it's better to make sure. We're saying, before you make sure, go and do a proper thing. They're making sure that it will happen also in the comfort zone of the elder's house. Hallelujah. I wrote number two here. We must not take ministering as old fashioned. In your day to day or the teaching of today, technologically, find a way on how best you can do ministering to the house of the Lord. Because that's the only way we can be blessed by God of Ezekiel. People of God, I was talking to another brother where I was saying, the things of God in faith, sometimes if you want to sit down and analyze how sometimes you do things, you might not even get an answer. But as we were taught how to do it according to the book of John, chapter 2, do is what? As he say. Even sometimes when we go to clean our elders' vehicles, my wife was laughing at me when I was telling her another day, because now when you are now driving, when you are in Zimbabwe, when you drop off those who know, I think you are going, you know the place, you know, at same level, not after same level, Pahud, Helen's View, turn off. We had an elder who was staying in Kroyu down there. But from Helen's View to Kroyu, by then there was no taxis. That goes there. We would leave DZ, as we are boys from there, DZ. We will leave DZ at 4 a.m. by text. Town. Town we drop off by wood. Then we will walk from wood until we reach where our elders brought to us in Kroyu, down there. Not the Kroyu that you know now with the houses. And we will be singing. We're going to minister. But of course, methods can change because we are now living in today's generation. If you can't go, how many times have you paid a gardener to go and minister over a sales place? Because we know you, you can't do it because of nails and, you know, and this other stuff. And the bees is catch you. It's not allowing you to do that. But we are saying the system must continue to do ministering in the house of the servant of God. I was not comfortable, I think a few weeks ago, I think Elder told him to say, me I'm not comfortable of youth now just coming and saying, Pastor, can you ask the parents for us to give us go ahead during the PC, want to watch their cars and they pay. We are saying, before we cause them to pay, there must be a day also a sister and a brother, a group of sisters go to oversee us house to say, Baba, we are here to minister. Amen. This one is sensitive. I don't know if I'm allowed to say it, but I'm a youth pastor. When we used to go to minister, we're not eating. <laughs> but you carry seven loaves of bread. You leave there finished. Until you then approach the other loaves that you found them already there. And in the report, you are saying we have sent seven loaves of bread that you took and you eat and finish and you come back. 
But in the report, it will be saying, we usually go to pastor's house with the bread. Of course, these are things that we cannot say. But let me teach you how we were doing it in the olden days. We could go fasting there. And when you are fasting, when I minister in there, we don't do nyaya. If I'm given a corner to Sakura, Sakura to do whatever we are doing there, we are not talking, I'll be praying, God of Ezekiel, remember me. Remember my life as I'm here. Not my life, they say, Baba, so is Netflix connected here? We wait for the mesh around two. Uh, soon you arrive, Baba, Wi Fi password, how far? Uh, how far, how far? Uh, if they ask you to say, how far is better? Some of them, they just say, no, we. They said, what? No, someone was still telling me that, no, we. We scan. They scan the courts. So you'll be there. They are connected. I'm not saying you must not share Wi-Fi. But there are certain things sometimes that you can do. And these elders, they come now to report to me. So today I'm answering elders saying I beg when they're also here. It's not good. During our days, not today, even when I see a sister in a text coming from work, then sister Molly, she's also coming from work. We're not driving by then because we're using Mushika Shiga, Kadoma. So, you know, I, I, don't know, I, I don't know how it has happening. I love the God of it to the extent that if I see a sister going to the same test that I must also take, I would rather stay behind. She must go. And I'll take another text after. Because this thing of evil appearance, I do not want to associate it with me. I wanted to be a righteous brother. That was after now I was fully saved by the God of Ezekiel. Amen. One of my fellow friends who is in Abu Dhabi now is the one who introduced us to ministering. People of God, I used to go to do laundry, me. You are what you call laundry today. Tell it a washing. 4 a.m. we leave Tinod South. We go to Tinod North. Because there was a competition in our district between boys and go quickly. So if you go there after 6, you find already they are done. So it improvised on time to say, 4 o'clock guys, 4 a.m. on Monday. We must arrive in Tinod North. We do our washing, we put on the line. 6 o'clock we are in the garden. Apostle Bishop Kabodra knows me today as a brother who used to come to dig in the garden. Maman Chatuda knows me today, the one who was here, as a brother who used to come to sweep the house and clean the house as a brother. That's where you get the blessings of the God of Ezekiel. If you can humble yourself to that level to do those things, whether you are an elder, whether you are a deacon, whether you are a chairman. But the chairman of these days overseer, they only know how to organize according to the schedule. Next week, youth must be going to provincial mission house. You are end. They just organize. There is a danger being the same post 500 kilometers east London and it remained there. It does not even know how East London look like. Learn also to be part and parcel as a brother and a sister in the house of the Lord. First Chronicles chapter 28 verse number 9. Elder Shami just give a sign when you feel that you don't want me here. Me, I'm, I'm being chased here. I don't have time. I'm, I'm going to be chased. Is it there? All right. I'll read from my Bible. This is message version. And you, Solomon, my son, where he's saying, son, just cancel it if you're a sister. And he say, you, Sol, and you, Molly, my daughter. 
that you cannot be left behind. And you, Solomon, my son, get to know well your father's God. People of God, my mother went to be with the Lord now. I, I, she was not an elder. The last time I checked, if she managed to, to, to take positions in the house of the Lord, I think she was a deacon by then when they were singing. There's a song that they used to sing as sisters. Batirei Makawa, Makawa Madiki. We used to sing like a, like a family. I don't know those songs, I know. Those are Greek songs. But one thing that she makes sure that she every day to say, here there's no one who remain home. Everyone must go to the house of the Lord. Some of the things I do explain to you, you know, sometimes during one, one, I disappear. Boss, you will be thinking that I'm there in the children's church there. By then, our children's church was not in the building, it was under the tree. As we meet under the tree, then we'll come later. But what I want to say is, we did not leave the teachings that we were given by our parents. And that has caused us, for us to be here today, maybe standing before you. We may not have done justice if we don't tell you what also has caused us to be where we are today. The blessings in this church, they don't just come. But they come if you understand this church and its teachings. And some of the things, like what I'm saying, you cannot understand them. But they can take you very far. I don't know elders of today, but our elders of those days. I remember going to my elders' house another time, who was now my counselor. It was a two-roomed house. And I know very well that he, to go out and sleep there is a problem. But I would say, Baba, I'm here. As your child, I'm here for so you can talk to me. And I know there's a time that even you yourself, you can see, could people want to sleep here? But now, order of sleeping tonight, it has to compromise. Because me, I would say, and I'm here, I'm sleeping here. I will bust and go to work tomorrow from here. And I don't have a towel. There was not that teaching, Mama. That we are now receiving today. So you must carry a... You call it what? Toilet bag. Did, we didn't know those things. I mean, I would just go. Even to the brush of brushing, I, they must organize there. As long as me, I'm there. That was me. What I want is to hear the voice of my elder speaking to me before I dismiss in the morning. You have an advantage of carrying a toilet bag, but you don't go. Hallelujah. You, Solomon, my son, get to know well the God of your father. Save him with a whole heart and an eager mind for God examines every heart that sees through and every motive. We love the God of Ezekiel. We know you love this God. But we are saying there is an opportunity also in this, this church where you can go an extra mile to minister to this God. You don't just appear at the time of my sofa, my brothers. We now want to go to my sofa. That's why we start to know you now. Then I even question these days the way he's coming. I think there's something that is be is cooking. Two this is the third one. He said, Baba, so uh, it's like there's something that I wanted to discuss with you. So even after my sofa and the wedding, you disappear. Because what you wanted is done. But as we have built the relationship until today, Pastor Kuda knows. When I go to Zimbabwe, I, I don't, I cannot come back here without seeing Elder Masakure. I make it the point. I remember he's working there by HQ. And sometimes when I visit hey, Baba, no, he said, no. I'm a mother, Baba. Me, I'm now in, I said, Baba, I'm, I'll remain a child to you. Because your teachings is the one that caused me to walk this whole journey until today. I am saying if you want to grow in forward in faith, 
be a child. No matter the title that you might hold. You might even driving a big car than mine, my, my Omera 1.5. But for you to receive the blessings, remain a child. Amen. Wonderful. We continue. Another point. The God of our fathers taught us to minister. Number one, I think we talk about it. The God of our fathers taught us also to give in the house of the Lord. Some of you in your regions, you don't appear. We are only known time of raising money for, for Easter. And the conference in July that is going to come. Where you want money for what you call? NYC. Some of them don't even know. Number three. These churches taught us to be prayerful people. You may not be prayerful like other elders that can spend the whole night. But at least lean bit by bit, slow by slow. Also to be in prayer. Because as far as I know until today, there is no application that can pray for you on your behalf. I don't know destiny. Do you have that app that you can just say blessing to me prayer, then you go to sleep. It's praying for you now when you're sleeping. Because as far as I know now, the Bible you can put audio. It can talk and talk and talk overnight. When you are listening, some of you said, No, I don't have time to to really hold the Bible. I just put my earpods and I put play. And begin to speak to me. But I'm saying, the Lord of God in faith have taught to be people who are prayerful, to be in prayer physically there. Amen. The Bible says in the book of Matthew, God sees the heart, but us, we want to see you physical. So this thing of saying, Baba, if you don't see me, I'll be praying at home. Ah! We want to see you here. Because those days, my other uncle was an elder. My cha the chairman of those days. They used to carry buckets and chairs. Fighting with the God of Ezekiel. With a chair. For them to show that they were in the prayer room. They were supposed to carry a chair or a bench. But I know our team of today, we cannot go that far. What we can only do is to say, Kuu kapahaso. Woo! Kalapasato. Hallelujah. We are saying, come here. We want to see you here. Kuu la kapahaso. Woo! God of Ezekiel. We love you, God. We love you, Dad. We love you, Jesus. We love you. We love you. We may not understand you know, the truth of today, but to be in the prayer room when there's a prayer on a Friday, every brother, every sister must be come and be in prayer. Amen. 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 Some of you is like a foreign gospel of kind of fasting on Monday. Ah, you can fast in South Africa here. Yeah. Maybe it's for Zimbabweans there because he. Because the restaurant and the KFC is not closer to them. But, but you know where I wake? Where me I wake? Nine o'clock. Someone will run with a cup of tea to say, boss, coffee. Cappuccino. We are saying, if you know the God of your father, Amen. they cannot force you to say, open your mouth, drink. You must drink it today. You must not go home without drinking. Every Monday, brother and sister, we must hear pandemonium after this Easter conference to say, elders now come and say, now we don't have time to do things. But every, every brother is saying, Baba, I will lead Monday prayer. I'm available for Bible study on Wednesday. I'm available for Friday prayer. That's how we were raised in this church. That's what has taken us to be where we are today. We haven't reached where we are supposed to go, but we are saying for the little that we have received, it's time they have taken us to be where we are today. To be where we are today. Amen. Me, I don't judge. Me, 
I think people who work with me, they know I don't judge. If you want to come and have dreadlocks, I love you like that. But all my boys are now, my, my, my guys now, they are disappointing me. They cut all of them now, the dreadlocks. <laughs> because I understand to say, God loved us in a different way. The way God called us is a different way. In our days, even to come, you know, having what you call Baba, it's what, what? Not dreadlocks. To twist. I don't know what you do when you cut, then they take that thing. In our days, uh, it was an issue. You could even attend a hearing for elders to say, what is this, brother? A day to day. Genie. Yeah, Jean, Baba, yeah. To come wearing a jean. Ah, we have to wait. Everything must stop. We deal with you. But I want to say to the youth of today, we love you. The way you are. What you are not to make sure is that make sure that you have got Jesus in you. Are you fully born again? Are you not tossing around our girls out there? Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good evening. 1 a.m. I wanted just to check to check if you guys are okay. No, 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 no. That only call it if appearance in this church. Amen. The idea behind the, just checking on you to us is called if appearance. Hallelujah. As I close, read books of our father as a young man. Invest in buying books. You are now a deacon. You are now an aspiring elder who is going to come. I wrote here. Of a sudden, when I became an elder, me. Then I went to Zimbabwe. And the big people, both in elder position in Zimbabwe, is for the white head. Those ones with white in the gray hair. So when I arrived at the church, then they were told, no, this is an elder from South Africa. They said, it's now given to children like these ones. Before they said, on top of the elder, he is a coordinator. People of God, when I heard them say, I would come back and say, God, use me. In him. They must see that I'm not in this office, not by accident, but I'm here because God called me. The Bible says in the book of Jeremiah, before you were formed in your mother's womb, I knew you. Amen. Though the devil tried also to mess up my life with this thing of masturbation, but God knew the plan that he was having for me. Amen. That I'll be a youth pastor one day. Did you see me, son, on my face? Zinoita. Zinoita, boy, zango. Even your theme now, I think it's weak also. But ours was powerful. Points of thunder. Tuna misisesa. This bling is our motto. And we marry. Touch is a move. <laughs> In our days, when you go to my sofa, you don't come up with this a different mind. Touch is a move. Amen. That's where we are coming from. Girls used to say what? Case of quality, what? Mama, but take a mic, take a mic, Mama. Mama, pa Pastor K, take the mic. Quality, what, what? And for sure it was quality. Not that you are no longer quality, but you are saying sometimes maybe the way you are doing things. People who are coming from that generation, they will think maybe it's no longer quality. But it, it's a quality. I understand you. You want you're ready to do it? Yeah. Mama, they've got a new one because they've changed, so we want to hear the old one. Yes. They used to say, uh, girls of quality, from better to best for mm. Jesus. You mm -hmm. know, quality is our motto, you know, mm. you yeah. are wonderfully and fearfully made. Mm. made. Wonderfully made and fearfully made, you mm. know, mm. but don't touch. You can hear from Zesa side. Touch is a move. This side, 
you don't touch, you'll be eaten by Zesa. Because, you know, Islam, when I came to South Africa around 2011, my first service for the youth, we were attending there. I don't know, Baba Samuel, if you remember, we had, we had gone for, what do you call FIFOC? At Bonash there. You were there, eh? Then we were there at Bonash. Then I saw my wife come, a boss, come, I want to demonstrate something. So I saw now they were greeting each other after church now. Hi, sister. You know, my heart was troubled. <laughs> Say, God of Ezekiel, am I going to survive here? <laughs> but of course, I know with you guys of today, there's no strings attached, Pastor. It's just a mutual, you know. To the, to, to the extent that even you can see a brother with, with the, our director. Come. I visited Tino at the house. I just want to see how is she, you know. In our days, this one, at four in the evening, we are summoned to come to the elders' place. And it's discipline straight away. You remember, Baba? Sit. As I close, I'm saying to us, we are the today's generation. We must desire to have big God in our lives. We must also desire to live in the way, the pattern that our fathers taught us. Our fathers said methods can change, but the gospel will remain the same. So no matter how much methods can change, it's not allowed to go for a sleepover, a brother, to a sister's house. It's now chairman to say, no, we were to work until late, pastor, with my secretary, both wanted to close other books. It's not allowed. <laughs> books for church, you know, because, you know, we're trying to reconcile the youth books before we send the report. It's not allowed. Make a dis put a distance between you. Because Zayoja taught us to say, this is a sister. This one. She was my sister in the Lord. But the devil came and I went to my sofa. And she's my wife today. So we know that the same sister that you are saying, she's just a sister, Baba. Things can change upside down. And things can change. We don't want to hear a youth in this province bring someone for discipline. Not in this province. Not in this province. People of God, may I break? Our time in our district of Zewarasekwa, we were one of the districts that we were known in Harare. To say, DZ, Kunema face Anushkamari. Not by paper, but even by doing the practicality of it. We were not mingling with girls. We were valuing the presence of the God of Ezekiel. Let that also happen in today's generation. May God bless you. Thank you.